to your alternative assignment. So you, what you will do is come into the folder for your course. You go to your course, the yellow one. When you come into your course, you will head both to the virtual rooms as well as to the Otis Wallow folder. So the virtual room, I'll open up. And remember you have a science room, a tech room, engineering room, an art room, and a math room. Okay, those are the rooms. And then in the Wallace Otis folder is where your project is. Okay, Steam room notebook. So that's what you'll be working on each day while we're doing our web design. Um, you won't submit it until the very end. What you'll do is each day you'll be responsible. First, your name will go here down in the text box. You'll type your name, and then you'll flip to page one, or you can come to here. It depends. You have access to some stickers. Um, you can copy and paste any of those that you use, markers, arrows. Um, the just sort of features. You don't have to use them. I'm not post notes if you want to make a little note. Uh, but the real project, page one, uh, you will get the name of the item that you're using in lab. So you might describe it like it might be the Khan Academy, the Abacus. Um, you'll tell me what room and what object. So let's say that for the day, Ms. Watts has you looking in the science room at the hamster cage. So you'd write science room and hamster cage. And then on page two, hamster cage would go in the title. And then you'd write about three to five sentences, probably five, um, about that object and what you did there. Now, it's what you actually do at the site where the hamster cage takes you to. So don't go to other things on the website. It's literally the game that you play when that site loads. So I know some of the objects go to websites where there's multiple games that you can play and explore, but you're only playing and exploring with the game that the site loads to. Um, so whatever comes up when you click on it, that's the game you're playing, and that's the game that you are writing about, okay? Um, so that is how you use the lab report notebook. On each day you do that, you'll put a picture of the object that you played with with your description. So you'll write your five sentences, you'll put a title, and then you can screenshot either where you're playing with it. So you could screenshot this object here. Let me put, or you could take a picture of it from the lab uh, the virtual room. So I could do this and copy and then come over to my notebook and stick with my sentences. So Ms. Watts knows exactly what object I played with. Or I could take a picture at the virtual lab, maybe just of, and remember a partial screenshot is control shift in the key above your six, both control and shift and the key above your six, and you can take a picture of the object in the lab. Or you could put both in there. You could take a partial screenshot of the object in the lab and uh, from the website. So I paste that one and paste the other one, okay? And my five sentences. And we'll do about two objects a day. Okay? And really play with them so that you can write a really detailed uh, description of them. Get involved, play with them, click around, play the game, um, and enjoy. Have a great day. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask.